Okay, so what do I mean by that? An example would be something like, uh, let's look at the set of all x such that x is less than 2. That would describe a property about x, and if it's true, I will put it in this set. Everybody with me? And what should I do? How about a little period there? Okay, I'm completing the thought. Okay. Okay. So, um, um, in fact, I'll, let me just do this. I'll say, e.g., x is less than 2. Period. All right. Now, there's lots of shorthand, which will be helpful to us. So I have to say, uh, to write down a lot of things. So, uh, I can write some shorthand when it's convenient. So, we'll often use this notation. X, excuse me, let's first do in. X is in S, so this means X is in S, period. And there's the other notation with a cross, which means X is not in S. Okay, and every once in a while I'll put these little quotes, which means repeat what's above. Okay. Uh, there's a, a special set which we often want to describe, and that's the set with nothing in it, otherwise known as the empty set. Very good, and it has a special notation, which uh, is a, basically a circle with a, a slash through it is the empty set. Okay, very good. Um, here's another notation, a shorthand we'll want us to use. So if I write, I want, there's sometimes I want to say that one set, one collection of things contains another collection of things. One set contains another set. So if I write A with a sideways symbol like this, it means A is a subset of B. And I have to now tell you what it means to be a subset. What does it mean to be a subset? Or you could say it another way. What this means is, okay, so it means this. So I'll say which means. What does it mean? Well, it means if... So how would you describe this definition, A is a subset of B, just in terms of uh, uh, a relation I involving uh, set, uh, what's in a set or not in a set? Willie? So for X, in a, uh, X is in B for all X and A. Okay. Yeah, so another way I'll write this is if X is in A, then X is in B. So it means this whole statement. If X is in A, then X is in B. Okay? Uh, another way we can write this, I'm just giving you lots of ways of saying the same thing. You could notate this by saying one implies the other. So you'll see this implication arrow. This should be familiar to most everybody with the prereqs for this course, but just being careful here. Um, one thing you do also have to be uh, to watch out for is that with this notation, some authors, well, generally this this also includes the possibility that that A and B are the same set, okay? Uh, but some authors emphasize that by placing an equals underneath. But if you don't see, you should assume it 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 could mean that uh, one is uh, uh, contained in the other. So um, here's another thing. If A is in B and uh, B is not in A, that is, one is a subset of the other, but not vice versa, then we call uh, A uh, a proper subset of B. Okay, so it's strictly smaller. And if A is in B, and B is in A, then uh, we will write A equals B. 
So uh, this uh, um, is, is what you'll check if you want to show two sets are equal. One strategy is to show that one is contained in the other and the other is contained in the first. And if A is not, if A is not equal to B, then we'll write A with a not equal sign B. Okay? Okay. Just being careful about some notation here. Okay, so let's uh, establish a little more notation and then we'll begin to uh, talk about relations. So you can construct new sets from old. So more sets. If you give me um, uh, a couple of sets, I can, there are some operations here I can do. So for instance, I can talk about the union of A and B. So the union is A union B, right, a little cup um, between the A and the B. And what is the union of A and B? Somebody describe for that to me in words. Somebody describe that to me in words. Rebecca. All the elements of the set A and all the elements of the set B. Okay. So if I were to write it instead of as the first way, instead of listing the elements, which I obviously can't do, if I write in terms of a property, uh, what should I do? How about the set of all x, little x, such that, what did you say, Rebecca? Good, x and a, or, or is it and? Good, or x is in b. Okay, and uh, here's a, an associated notion, the intersection, which is written with a upside down cup in between A and B. And uh, it's the same definition except what? Or becomes and. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, here's another one, A complement. There are many notations for this, but we'll use a little c. The complement is defined of A is defined to be the set of all x such that, help me, x is not an A. Okay, very good. Uh, there's the minus operation, which is written with a it's not quite a minus symbol. It's a kind of a, a, a slanted minus symbol, a backslash, and that's to remind you that these are sets. So uh, take a guess as to what this notation might mean. Good. X such that X is in one but not the other. In particular, you want to say X is in B. Uh, uh, and X is not an A. Uh, X is in B. Oh yes, sorry, my, this is, my notes are backwards. Um, I had B minus A here. So X is in A, but X is not in B. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> 